when we say God, we are talking about not something that exists. We are talking about existence itself, the very source of all being, the first entity. When we understand that, we understand that it changes life for us. Because we're not looking at God as some outside figure that's intruding on our life or that's looking and peeking in to our life. We are running with that force always. In everything that we do and all that we experience, we are running with that force. And the question only is whether we wish to connect to it or pull away from it. Whether we see it as an intrusion on our lives, as though we're some kind of autonomous beings running on our own, or we see it as the very source of our existence, the cultivation of our existence, the, the power of our being. When we understand God, yud he vav he, as we say, existence, haya, hove, yihye, was, is, will be, being itself. When we understand God that way, we understand that everything that I, I experience, the love and the pain, the beauty, the creativity, the the wind on my face, the, 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 the mud that splashes me when a car drives by, everything. When, I, when I'm in this life, I know that I am in this life with that force running through. We have the opportunity to connect to it. We can sit and try to prove God all we want. And we can sit and try to have faith in God all we want. But at the end of the day, there's only one real thing that we could do with God, and that is to know Him. To know Him not through study, but to know Him through experience through experiencing all that is around us and knowing that all that is around us is not what he's made, but what he's put out from his heart, so to speak, what he's poured out in front of us, us included, to share his existence with us.